As civilization developed, so too did the need for units of measurement. These were required for numerous tasks such as constructing dwellings of an appropriate size and shape, fashioning clothing, or bartering food or raw materials. Earliest known systems the earliest known uniform systems of weights and measures seem all to have been created at some time in the 4th and 3rd millennia BC among the ancient peoples of Egypt, Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley, and perhaps also Elam as well. The system attributed to the Indus Valley civilization is sometimes cited as particularly accurate. Based on an ivory scale found in Lothal, their smallest unit corresponded to approximately 1.704 mm. The smallest division ever recorded on a scale of the Bronze Age, early Babylonian and Egyptian records and the Hebrew Bible indicate that length was first measured with the forearm, hand, or finger and that time was measured by the periods of the sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies. When it was necessary to compare the capacities of containers such as goods or clay or metal vessels, they were filled with plant seeds which were then counted to measure the volumes. When means for weighing were invented, seeds and stones served as standards. For instance, the carrot, still used as a unit for gems, was derived from the carob seed. History of Units Units of length The Egyptian cubit the Indus Valley units of length referred to above and the Mesopotamian cubit were used in the 3rd millennium BC and are the earliest known units used by ancient peoples to measure length. The units of length used in ancient India included the Dhanush, the Kroza and the Yodana. The common cubit was the length of the forearm from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger. It was divided into the span of the hand or the length between the tip of little finger to the tip of the thumb, the palm or width of the hand, and the digit or width of the middle finger. The royal cubit, which was a standard cubit enhanced by an extra palm, thus seven palms or 28 digits long, was used in constructing buildings and monuments and in surveying. In ancient Egypt, the inch, foot, and a yard evolved from these units through a complicated transformation not yet fully understood. Some believe they evolved from cubic measures, others believe they were simple proportions or multiples of the cubit. In whichever case, the Greeks and Romans inherited the foot from the Egyptians. The Roman foot was divided into both 12 uncia and 16 digits. The Romans also introduced the mill passus or double steps, the pace being equal to 5 Roman feet. The Roman mile of 5,000 feet was introduced into England during the occupation. Queen Elizabeth I changed, by statute, the mile to 5,280 feet or 8 furlongs, a furlong being 40 rod s of 5.5 yards each. The introduction of the yard as a unit of length came later, but its origin is not definitely known. Some believe the origin was the double cubit, others believe that it originated from cubic measure. Whatever its origin, the early yard was divided by the binary method into 2, 4, 8, and 16 parts called the half yard, span, finger, and nail. The association of the yard with the gird, or circumference of a person's waist or with the distance from the tip of the nose to the end of the Thumb of King Henry I are probably standardizing actions. Since several yards were in use in Britain, there were also rods, poles and perches for measurements of length. The following table lists the equivalents. Length 12 lines equals 1 inch 12 inches equals 1 foot 3 feet equals 1 yard 17 60 yards equals 1 mile 36 inches equals 1 yard 440 yards equals quarter mile 880 yards equals half male 100 links equals 1 chain 10 chains equals 1 furlong 8 furlongs equals 1 mile 4 inches equals 1 hand 22 yards equals 1 chain 5.5 5 yards equals 1 rod. Pole or perch 4 poles equals 1 chain. 40 poles equals 1 furlong. Typographical units The use in typography of the point. 
Various typographic points were defined, including the Truchet point by Sébastien Truchet, the Fournier point by Pierre-Simon Fournier in 1737 and the Didot point by the Didot brothers, François Ambroise and Pierre-François, in 1755 or 1767 or 1783, which was exactly two Truchet points. The point was first used in the United States in 1878 or 1872 by a Chicago type foundry. The point was defined as one twelfth of a pica consisting of one sixth of an inch truncated to thousandths of an inch in the USA in 1886 and was quickly adopted by Britain and its colonies. This number has been approximated in various ways depending on the technology, prejudices, and information available to engineers involved in the production of typesetting machinery since then. Common approximations in use are 1 72.27 inch and simply 1 72nd of an inch. Other typographic points are used in other countries. The pica in any of several related systems measures 12 points. Units of mass The grain was the earliest unit of mass and is the smallest unit in the apothecary, avidipoise, tower, and troy systems. The early unit was a grain of wheat or barley corn used to weigh the precious metals silver and gold. Larger units preserved in stone standards were developed that were used as both units of mass and of monetary currency. The pound was derived from the mina used by ancient civilizations. A smaller unit was the shekel, and a larger unit was the talent. The magnitude of these units varied from place to place. The Babylonians and Sumerians had a system in which there were 60 shekels in a mina and 60 minas in a talent. The Roman talent consisted of 100 libra which were smaller in magnitude than the mina. The troy pound used in England and the United States for monetary purposes, like the Roman pound, was divided into 12 ounces. But the Roman uncia was smaller. The carrot is a unit for measuring gemstones that had its origin in the carob seed, which later was standardized at 1 144th ounce and then 0.2 gram. Goods of commerce were originally traded by number or volume. When weighing of goods began, units of mass based on a volume of grain or water were developed. For example, the talent in some places was approximately equal to the mass of one cubic foot of water. Was this a coincidence or by design? The diverse magnitudes of units having the same name of which still appear today in our dry and liquid measures could have arisen from the various commodities traded. The larger avidipoise pound for goods of commerce might have been based on volume of water which has a higher bulk density than grain. For example, the Egyptian hon was a volume unit about 11% larger than a cubic palm and corresponded to one mina of water. It was almost identical in volume to the present U.S. pint. The stone, quarter, hundredweight, and ton were larger units of mass used in Britain. Today only the stone continues in customary use for measuring personal body weight. The present stone is 14 pounds, but an earlier unit appears to have been 16 pounds. The other units were multiples of 2, 8, and 160 times the stone, or 28, 112, and 2,240 pounds, respectively. The hundredweight was approximately equal to two talents. The ton of 2,240 pounds is called the long ton. The short ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. A ton is equal to 1,000 kg. Units of time and angle The division of the circle into 360 degrees and the day into hours, minutes, and seconds can be traced to the Babylonians who had sexagesimal system of numbers. The 360 degrees may have been related to a year of 360 days. Many other systems of measurement divided the day differently, counting hours, decimal time, etc. Other calendars divided the year differently. Metric conversion. The metric system was first described in 1668 and officially adopted by France in 1799. Over the course of the 1800s and 1900s, 
It became the dominant system worldwide including the only measurement system enacted by law by the United States. Numerous countries continue to use their customary units. The American system is unusual, however, in not having adjusted itself to close metric values in the manner of the Scandinavian mile, the Chinese jin or the Dutch ons.